this code sample includes a simple HTML file that includes the script element that refers the adapt.js library. If you go over the files, we can find two folders, JS and CSS. Within JS, we have the adapt library. Within the CSS folder, we have um, CSS files. Now let's get back to the main document. Here you can see that we assign the adapt underscore config variable with a reference for a new object. A new object that its purpose is to configure adapt.js library. Here I specify the relative path where the CSS files can be found. Here I specify the value true because I want the adapt.js library to dynamically load the relevant CSS file when the width of the uh, web browser change. Uh, this way if the user plays with the web browser and change its uh, width, automatically the relevant CSS file uh, will uh, be loaded and take the place of the previous one. Now, if we try to browse this uh, web page, let's give it a try, uh, then what we get is the simple text adapt.js jumpstart because it is a very simple uh, code sample. Now, if I change the width, as you can see, the uh, relevant CSS file takes place.